Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, today we want to talk to you about NASA's Gemini mission and the UFO activity that was reported and captured and transcribed in official NASA transcripts by the astronauts who were training during the Gemini missions before the Apollo missions to the moon. Now, this project went on between 1961 and concluded in 1966, and these missions happened using two-man astronaut crew, where the astronauts would fly up and sat in low Earth orbit uh, in order to get a feel of what the Apollo missions to the moon would be like. And while they were up there, some very strange things happened. They witnessed some very strange things that we're gonna show you in this video today. Now here we are seeing an image of the Agena target vehicle from the Gemini 8 mission. And as you're seeing just above it, captured in a very rare image that has seldom ever been seen, uh, we have these two very defined blue lights sitting in this dark background of space, almost as if to watch the activity that was happening here. Now, this image you're seeing here from the Gemini 12 mission, Jim Lovell and Edwin Aldrin saw at least four UFOs outside the spacecraft, and both spacemen said that the objects were not stars, and indeed they were not. And as we zoom in on this image, we see at least two of these objects sitting in the background above the Earth, and we will go ahead and zoom in for you. Now, during the Gemini missions on the spacecraft, mounted next to the pilot's seat, uh, was what is known as the VTR, which was used by the astronauts to document any visual uh, observations or things that they would see outside of the spacecraft um, during each mission, which were then transcribed into, at that time, confidential documents held by NASA. Well, those transcriptions have been released. And we are going to show you some of the things that were said during those missions. And I want you to stay tuned because we will be showing you some more video and imagery from these missions. And you're going to hear it straight from the astronauts' mouths. The astronauts who, in some cases, walked on the moon. Here are the transcriptions proving that the astronauts did see unusual UFO activity above the Earth in space as they orbited the Earth. Now, astronaut James McDivitt from the Gemini 4 mission as well as Apollo 9 spoke publicly about this UFO sighting and actually went on a few television talk shows where in which he elaborated on the sighting and said that basically he was drifting in space with the control engines shut down when suddenly the object appeared in the window. He said that it had a definite shape, a cylindrical object with a long arm that stuck out of the side. Now he said he doesn't know whether it was a very small object up close or a very large object miles away and that he has no idea what the object was. Now what you are about to see and hear is the audio from the Gemini 7 mission where the astronauts describe seeing a quote bogey 
which is obviously the term used for an object that is unidentified. Um, it's a military term used down here on Earth whenever something is spotted on radar. Uh, they will refer to it as a bogey. Now, when they saw this object, they were able to take out their Hasselblad camera and capture a very short clip of the object. So we will play you the clip of the UFO along with the audio from that encounter. Hi, Gemini 7, can you get out of your eight? Last player, 7, go ahead. I told you, I can't This is Houston, say again, 7. I said, we have a bogey, I can't count on. Roger. Gemini Control, here again. The reference in that conversation was uh, bogey. It was uh, Borman who reported sighting the bogey. Uh, this is Germany Control in Houston at uh, 4 hours, 24 minutes, 8 in the four Now, after the transmission had been interrupted, the conversation continued about the bogeys. This last transcript is very shocking, and it came from CDR John Young, um, who 
may have been only half joking with Mission Control when he said these next words. So again, the Apollo moon missions, uh, which we have done many videos on, were certainly not the only missions that astronauts encountered this interaction and these sightings with these craft and these objects that were up there, many of which the astronauts have spoken about since um, and that completely shocked them at the time and still to this day mystifies them. Now here is uh, one last image from the Gemini missions showing one of the long cylindrical objects that they had spoken about in the transcriptions. And again, the Gemini missions, which are almost seldom talked about in ufology, are just as good as any to research and to learn about because some amazing things happened while they were training in these missions before going to the moon. And we all know what happened when they went to the moon. So again, amazing stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe on your way out. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned because we have a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys.